What if your favourite food suddenly became scarce or disappeared from your local supermarket? It's a provocative question that hits close to home. The concept we're exploring here is food security, a term that represents the availability and access to food. In a world where our bellies are often full, it can be hard to imagine a future where food becomes scarce. But the reality is that future might be closer than we think. Across the globe, the situation is becoming increasingly precarious. Foods that we take for granted like rice, wheat and corn could become luxuries or worse, extinct. The reasons behind this are complex and intertwined and we're going to dive into some of those key factors now. Firstly, we have climate change. It's no secret that our planet is heating up and this warming trend is already impacting agricultural yield worldwide. Droughts and floods, both fueled by climate change, are leading to crop failures. Rising sea levels are threatening coastal farming lands and the list goes on. Secondly, our global population is booming. We're expected to hit nearly 10 billion mouths to feed by the year 2050. That's a lot of extra plates to fill and we're already struggling to meet demand with our current agricultural practices. Speaking of practices, unsustainable farming is another major contributor to our food insecurity. Our soils are being depleted, biodiversity is declining and we're using water at an unsustainable rate. All of this puts our food supply at risk, so where does this leave us? On a precipice, we're facing a future where we might not be able to feed everyone. It's a sobering thought, but it's not without hope. There are solutions and there are ways we can all contribute to a more secure food future. Stay tuned to find out what experts predict about the impending food shortage crisis. Leading agricultural scientists and economists are sounding the alarm on the future of our food supply. As we delve deeper into this issue, we encounter a chorus of voices from the top minds in agriculture and economics, expressing grave concern over the state of our food security. Dr. Jane Goodall, a renowned environmentalist, warns, with the world's population projected to reach 9 billion by the year 2040, our current food production methods will not be able to keep up. This is a stark reminder that the clock is ticking and we must act swiftly. Economist Paul Pullman echoes this sentiment, stating, the food shortage is not just a distant future problem, it's a present day crisis that's escalating at an alarming rate. His words serve as a wake up call. The food shortage is not a hypothetical scenario. It's a reality that many around the globe are already experiencing. Next, we have Dr. Schengen Fan, the former Director General of the International Food Policy Research Institute. He emphasizes the role of climate change in exacerbating food shortages, saying, climate change will hit hardest on the already vulnerable, disrupting agricultural systems and pushing millions into poverty and hunger. This viewpoint is further supported by agricultural scientist Dr. Ismahene Elouafi, who warns, as global temperatures continue to rise, traditional crop yields are expected to plummet. This could lead to an unprecedented global food crisis. Lastly, we have the words of Dr. Agnes Kalibata, the UN Special Envoy for the 2024 Food Systems Summit, who implores, we all have a role to play in transforming our food systems. If we fail to act, the consequences could be catastrophic. These experts' predictions paint a sobering picture of our future food security. Each voice underscores the urgency of the situation, highlighting the need for immediate action to prevent a global food crisis. But it's not all doom and gloom. In the next scene, we'll explore potential solutions to this impending crisis and discuss the steps we can take to ensure a secure and sustainable food future. Stay tuned as we unpack these predictions in the next scene. And remember, these experts' predictions paint a sobering picture of our future food security. How might these predictions about food shortage play out in real life? That's the question on everyone's lips. As we delve into the forecasts, we'll start to unravel the potential realities for everyday folks like you and me. First off, let's look at the economical aspect. If these predictions hold true, we could see a significant surge in the cost of food. The law of supply and demand is unyielding. When there's less of something, its price goes up. This could result in your weekly grocery bill skyrocketing and the pinch in your pocket becoming a persistent pain. Next, let's consider the availability of certain food products. We may have to say goodbye to some of our favorites. Think about that juicy steak or those ripe bananas you love. With a food shortage, these could become luxury items available only to those willing and able to pay a premium price. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
A change in the food landscape could also spur shifts in our diet and lifestyle, pushing us to explore new culinary horizons. We might discover the delights of plant-based proteins or learn to love locally sourced seasonal produce. This could not only be a healthier choice, but also a more sustainable one. Food isn't just about sustenance, it's about culture, community and connection. A food shortage could change the way we socialize, the way we celebrate and the way we comfort each other. We might have to find new ways to share and show our love, ones that don't rely on grand feasts or extravagant meals. In summary, a food shortage could ripple out, touching every aspect of our lives. It could transform our economies, our diets and our lifestyles. But remember, with change comes opportunity. And in the face of adversity, we humans are pretty good at adapting. The effects of a food shortage could touch every aspect of our lives. But let's not forget, we also have the power to shape those effects and create a future in which everyone has access to the food they need. While the situation may seem dire, it's not all doom and gloom. There are possible solutions to the food shortage problem that we, as a society, can explore and hopefully implement. Firstly, let's talk about technology. Advancements in agricultural technology, or ag tech, are setting the stage for a revolution in food production. Vertical farming, for instance, allows us to grow crops in urban environments, maximizing the use of vertical space and reducing the need for vast swathes of arable land. Precision farming, enabled by GPS and satellite imagery, helps farmers apply resources like water and fertilizer more efficiently, reducing waste and boosting yields. Secondly, sustainable farming practices offer a way forward. Regenerative agriculture, which involves practices like crop rotation, cover cropping and organic farming, can restore soil health, increase biodiversity and sequester carbon, all while producing nutritious food. Aquaponics and hydroponics, where plants are grown with the help of fish waste or nutrient-rich water respectively, are other sustainable methods that use less water and land compared to traditional farming. Lastly, changes in consumer behaviour can make a significant difference. We, as consumers, have the power to influence the food system with our choices. A shift towards plant-based diets, for instance, could reduce the demand for resource-intensive meat and dairy products. Reducing food waste, which currently accounts for about one-third of all food produced globally, could also help alleviate the shortage. These solutions, however, are not silver bullets. They come with their own challenges and require investment, research and policy support to be truly effective. But they offer a glimmer of hope in what can sometimes feel like a bleak scenario. There is hope on the horizon, but it will require concerted effort from all of us. What can you do to contribute to a more secure food future? Let's delve into this question together. Every single one of us has a part to play in this global narrative. You might be thinking, what difference can I, as an individual, really make? The answer is a lot. It's the collective actions of individuals that bring about significant change. Start with supporting your local farmers. Why? Because these are the people who are directly responsible for putting food on our tables. By buying local, you're not only ensuring that your food is fresh and nutritious, but also contributing to the local economy. The more we sustain our local farmers, the more they can continue to produce and provide us with the food we need. Next, we can all take steps to reduce food waste. Did you know that about one third of all food produced globally is wasted? That's a staggering amount of food that could have been used to feed millions of people. So start small, be mindful of your consumption, buy only what you need, use up leftovers, compost your food scraps, every little bit counts. And finally, let's talk about making more sustainable food choices. This means leaning towards plant-based diets, reducing our consumption of processed foods, and being more conscious of the environmental impact of our food choices. By doing so, we're not only improving our health, but also reducing the strain on our planet's resources. So there you have it. Three simple yet effective ways you can contribute to a more secure food future. Supporting local farmers, reducing food waste, and making sustainable food choices. Remember, the future of our food supply is in our hands. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Together, we can make a difference.